hey everyone, it's Exiled. I'm going to talk about buffs and what buffs to use when you are on official server and you have limited supply and limited time and you want to be like really efficient when it comes to like farming and fighting and all that stuff. So basically the cheapest buff build is number one, Crimson Powder and Violent Curative. You take three Crimson Powder and two Violent Curative. That's the cheapest buff build and it gives you Vitality, Strength, and Grit. Um, the second way you can use this is four Crimson Powder, one Golden Lotus Potion, and one Set Antidote. And that also gives you Vitality, Strength, and Grit. Um, and then the second way you can get buffs is through the fish buffs, which you have to get the recipe for the improved fish traps in the underwater dungeon, and then you collect the fish and you cook them, and then um, you can get like an unlimited supply of fish buffs um, that keep keeps like replenishing every few hours. Um, so the fish buffs that you can get is like. Eel, grouper, grouper, the angler fish, the catfish, and it gives like pretty much all of the the attributes besides. I don't think it gives survival. I don't think it gives. Um, it definitely does not give encumbrance. But you know, you get strength, you get vitality, grit, agility, um, accuracy, which is more than enough. Um, if you want um, encumbrance, um, which I don't really recommend using encumbrance um, buffs because, like, if it expires, then you're then you might get crippled. But the encumbrance buff is you have to make it with an elixir and the Jabal Sag um, shrine to make the encumbrance pot. I, I forgot what it's called, but it's called something, I don't know, but it gives you encumbrance. Um, and then you can stack these buffs with war paint. Um, so like the strength war paint, the vitality war paint, and it's pretty expensive to make war paint. Like you need uh, dragon powder, and you need those red bugs, I don't know what they're called, and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know, but it's like a whole process to make war paints, but they're definitely worth making. Um, or, and by the way, like the crimson buffs and all those, and these buffs up here, you cannot stack them with the fish buffs. Um, so like for example, the, the catfish gives strength and crimson powder gives strength as well, but you can't stack them. You should take one like either one of them, not both of them, because it's just going to be a waste. Um, but you can stack the war paints with um, these buffs. So yeah, that's basically my guide to um, buffs, which is like a basic buff guide. Um, if you want to go more complex, I guess and be like really fancy um there's the elixirs but they're not worth making they're really expensive and it's a hassle to make them and then you can also get like buff the book buffs in warmaker which personally i think it's a waste of time because they only give you one and it is stackable but um you only have like a really limited supply of them and I don't think it's worth farming. You, you should be farming a bunch of other things besides these book buffs. Um, and you know, I don't, I don't think it's worth farming book buffs. But you know, whatever people want to do, I can't tell them what to do. Um, but you should definitely be using, um, at the very least, the cheapest buffs, which is like crimson powder. Violent Curative, or Crimson Powder, Golden Lotus, and Set Antidote. So yeah, this is my guide to buffs.